Well, I want to thank Michael Kaiser for joining us for the first in the series of Cyberside Chats. Uh, Michael, thanks for joining us. I'm honored to be here and honored to be uh, the, the first one in this, uh, what is going to be an illustrious series. Yep, hopefully we'll get a few of our colleagues uh, to come to come play from NCSA. Uh, I, I know we will. Well, NCSA has a consumer and business-focused mission. Can you tell us a little bit about how NCSA serves both uh, communities? Yeah, you know, we really see um, a, a lot of comparisons between the two communities, especially when you're talking about smaller businesses. But with consumers, we really try to drive towards that core messaging for them about how they can stay safer and more secure online, how they can protect their personal information, and what, how they can really uh, enable a very strong and robust digital life by being more safe and secure online. You know, that's how we look at security at the end of the day. We look at it as a, something that when you have good security, it allows you to do more things online. Uh, and we see, feel the same way about businesses, too. I mean, businesses uh, have to protect their, their, the data that they have about their customers and their employees. They have to protect any intellectual property they have. They have to um, do all those things, but it's in service of building their business, right? Uh, when they have a cyber secure business, when they're focused on privacy and protecting the information of the people they have, they're actually really building a foundation of a much stronger business, and that's how we try to serve them. Great, well, I think you hit uh, really the next question I wanna ask, which is how do you make the business case for privacy? Well, I think you make the business case in a couple of ways. I think one is um, they're certainly making the business case around uh, you know, what would happen if something went wrong. Right. I mean, you don't want to be that business that lost that data of your customers and have your brand impacted and, and those kinds of things. So that's part of the case. Uh, but I think the other privacy case for businesses is around uh, the expectations of your customers um, and how you communicate to them what you collect about them, um, what you do with that information and where, if in any cases, they might have control over it. So it can become a positive from your, for your business as well um, when you make the case uh, around how you communicate and interact with your customers. Yeah, no, certainly transparency is really, really important, as is uh, security. And so we actually just completed, as we both know, Cybersecurity Awareness Month. What were some of the highlights uh, from NCSA's perspective? Well, I think, you know, for us, it's always about what other people do. That's like the biggest and best use of, of National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. We ran our events. We had some great events. We had one in San Diego that was terrific um, with our friends down there at the Cyber Center of Excellence in San Diego, and we really appreciate uh, their participation. We talked about the Internet of Things and critical infrastructure. We uh, opened, uh, sorry, we closed the NASDAQ market one day um, and had a great event in New York with lots of media and lots of high-level folks. But what really thrills me uh, is what everybody else did. So we know, for example, there were more than 200 events on college campuses during National Cybersecurity Awareness Month, and that's phenomenal. Um, that's, you know, young people engaging and understanding and learning more about how to be safe and secure online. We had huge numbers on social media this year. Uh, uh, our preliminary numbers show a 250% increase in Twitter activity uh, this year in Cybersecurity Awareness Month, reaching, you know, potentially hundreds of millions of people. Uh, we saw many, many companies. We had more than 400, I believe, what we call champions, which could be companies, colleges, local government, state government, um, nonprofit organizations committing to participate in National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. And that's the kind of organic growth we need to have a really to create a culture of cybersecurity at the end of the day. No, it's amazing. And CCOE, uh, we, I know we were happy to support that effort, and uh, it, was, it was a great event. It was terrific. I mean, you know, San Diego has a lot of great stuff going on in cyber. And more than anything, they have a will and a commitment to do something together, which is really the starting point in all cyber. If we don't work together, we're done. So uh, it's a terrific foundation you all have there. That's right. That's right. And so uh, no rest for the weary. Uh, we have data, data Privacy Day just around the corner after the holidays. Uh, what plans does NCSA have for that? Well, we're cooking up some really great stuff for Data Privacy Day. You know, we're going to have events um, probably all around the country, um, including, you know, uh, San Diego, San Francisco, and in uh, North Carolina. And uh, we're going to be pushing out a lot of information to consumers and to businesses about what they can do about managing their online lives, managing their personal information. I think we'll be releasing some new uh, messaging ideas that we hope people will adopt about how to speak to businesses and to individuals up on privacy issues. 
Um, we know um, we'll have some research that we're going to be releasing around that messaging that helped us form that and come to some conclusions about what we think will resonate for folks. So we're really looking for a very big data privacy day. And similar to National Cybersecurity Awareness Month, we'll be really looking at what other people will be doing. We'll be trying to engage the whole community and encouraging people to take some time, whether it's right on January 28th or shortly before or shortly thereafter, to uh, educate anybody they can on privacy issues. It's really important. Um, scale is hard here, and scale requires a lot of participation. No, that's right, and I know we're, uh, we're actively looking to help out here in San Diego, and we'll be uh, looking forward to doing those events. And uh, Michael, I just want to thank you again for your time, and I know uh, you'll be the first, and it won't be the last time we talk to you, I'm sure. Well, thank you, and I think this is a great idea, and we're really happy to participate in any way we can.